What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys have been out there building shit, using your hands, taking all projects, making progress in your lives. So last week, we had a whole talk about why I just wasn't able to get a video up and edited and whatnot. I've been doing good in school, been learning a lot about a pre-trip inspection. But let's get back to this remodeling project we got going on. And I'll give you a good check. -in. Actually, already putting walls up, mirror, light fixture. The tub is pretty much all installed. Installed this nice flooring. Got the toilet in and the vanity. We even put in a new shower. Valve and head. It's time for some electrical work. One of the last things that you'd think about when installing a bathtub is electrical but we've got bubbles jets a heater all built in i've decided instead of running wires all the way from our main panel i'm going to install a sub panel right over here and so off of this conduit i'm going to tee it up here send wire along there down and into the sub panel we also need power to install this new Mr. Cool DIY heat pump and air conditioner. Let alone this house just kind of funky. It's got wires nailed up there underneath the eaves going places. And by places, I mean holes drilled in the walls. And one of the reasons why I'm running a whole separate panel is because we've got hot water heater wire literally right here going in through the wall we also need just through the wall outlets to run the new tub that we installed as well as power the lights and some outlets i'd also like to run some power up and over and have a light switch and maybe a plug-in in this shed here so it just seemed easier instead of running a whole bunch of wires over just run one big wire new sub panel and then wire in everything closer and spend less money in the long run on wires so one of the first steps for me is going to be figuring out what these three wires are which i know what they feed the one that goes up and along that way is a heater one of the ones that goes up and that way is a hot water heater which we're going to be shortening to way over there another one that goes up and over feeds the wall with a freezer on it inside so i need to figure out which breakers they are come down in here undo the breakers pull the wires up and out so that i can do my t and run conduit all the way along all right so got those pulled up and out removed the breakers i know what they went to though and how many amp etc so we got conduit going up and over wire coming down Wish I would have cut this a little shorter and so that I could have an angle come down and it would go through that hole that I stupidly already knocked out. But thinking I might just do it around and drill through here to put the connection through the top. I haven't really decided yet. I decided to get brave and I risked it guys. Used uh, peck cutters and I squeezed and just rotated and I uh, got it most of the way through. I've got to break off that little piece in the back, but I think I did it. So, got that shortened up. Got the elbow put on. Looking at where it was going to come down. If I would have left these parts stock length, it would have been way out here, which wouldn't have lined up. So, I ended up taking a little off the fitting and a little off this uh, body here. So they'd go closer. Now, they should line up great. One of the most annoying things about doing a sub panel, they never seem to include a ground bar. So you gotta buy that separately. And I always seem to forget. So if you're doing a sub panel, guys, don't forget to buy a ground bar. And on top of that, none of the holes that are already drilled are the right size for the screws on a ground bus so i had to drill holes attach it and get it in there so i can run my grounds got the supplies ran and installed 
now to start doing all of our circuits right, guys so i got both wires well the new wire and the one old wire that goes around the house brought down into here and then the water heater wire and the other wire i just yanked them and ripped out all the staples along the eave until here is the hot water heater wire that comes down the wall right there but we can cut it right up there at the top and it'll have plenty of uh length to go into a box and then this wire feeds our freezer and a couple other outlets over on this side of the house but i think i'm going to bring it down put it in conduit and just put it to this box rather than going all the way across so luckily i was able to get those pulled out though that's pretty cool i didn't just want to leave random dead wires hanging along the eve of the house that the next man comes along like what does this go to i dry fitted up conduit over to here and around the corner for the freezer and some other outlets and stuff that's over there i also added a conduit over and to the shed so i ran 15 amp wire to the shed 20 amp wire that was already ran above there is now inside the conduit with the 15 to the shed down to right here coming through the wall was that 20 amp wire for the 220 that goes to the hot water heater once inside this box the two wires coming down here and the one out of there go down and into this flex tube well i don't know if i did that right or not but i had it planned for two rigid conduits into a u but my hot water heater wire was not long enough to go through those so i shortened it up with a flex tube and i'm just going to call it good so we got the hot water heater wired up 15 amp to the shed is not on yet because it needs connected to stuff inside the shed i haven't set up a switch or a light or anything like that 20 amp to the freezer and stuff is all hooked up yep freezer's back on so now what we need to do with this box is I came down, drilled a hole, and we're going to run two 20s and a 15 amp wire in through this hole. And so two of them are going to run the tub. One of them is going to be the two 20 amps are for the tub and the 15 amp is going to be for lights and maybe a plug in and stuff inside the bathroom getting all the way through that wall was kind of fun i had two adapters then into my little hole driller tried that one but it stripped it out inside so i had to go two shorter ones rather than my long one after i got those two 20 amp wires ran in Got them hooked to GFCI outlets. Whew, those outlets are expensive. You want a normal outlet? About a buck fifty. It's nothing. You want a GFCI? All right, now you're talking twenty bucks. And this tub needs two dedicated circuits, meaning two separate outlets, two wires, two breakers. The breakers they add up too, guys. And I know this has got two plugs for the two plugins on the tub, but it says that it needs a dedicated circuit for each one. So each one of these is just going to be this plug in, this wire to its own breaker. And so that we can run this tub properly as per the instructions. Those situated down there, and everything's plugged in. We got all three of our wires fed in there where we need them. Went ahead and fed those wires out through a spacer, screwed that spacer to the wall. And it's what that's for is just to space the box that I've got out a little bit so that the conduit lines up up here. Went ahead and installed that box with conduit going up into our panel. In those three wires, we ran them to a 15 amp for the lights. And then the two center 20s are to the tub. That leaves us two outside 20s for future uh, expanding on this panel. Really not sure what else I'll install on this panel though. Other than installing our mini split right here. 
Come in here and we've got power to our outlet. Let's check out our tub. Light. Oh yeah, there's a light. Jets. Oh yeah. Air. Oh yeah. Drain. So it looks like everything's working, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed that check-in video. The reason why I do videos like this isn't because I'm some master electrician, master plumber, master remodeler, or even a diesel tech. The reason why I do this channel is to encourage you. Believe in your God-given hands. Take on projects. Build, fix, create. If you read about it, you watch some videos, you maybe read a book or two, do some online research, you can take on these projects. Believe in yourself, guys. You can do this. In the next couple weeks, I'll get that mini split installed. I've got some footage of doing flooring and installing the toilet and the vanity. I might do a video with that. I might just trash the footage. I haven't really decided. Drop a comment down below if you want to see it. Otherwise, believe in your God-given hands. Take on some projects. Till next time, keep building shit.